All right, guys, welcome once again to another unboxing review video. This time we have some Johnny Lightning um, die cast we're gonna go over. As you can see here, we have these two car sets that it looks like, I think these came out in 2021, but honestly, I had not seen them in stores and I saw them at, um, I, think, I think it was Target. So I picked them up because I had not seen them and I just thought that they, these are very, very nice. And again, you can never go wrong with vintage American muscle. So I believe, uh, again, these are from 2021 and this is um, version B of whatever release this is, the, the release three. Both of these are from version uh, B. And let's see here, it says release three. I wonder if these both belong to the same. Um, it says here, Chevy, Camaro. It says, okay, yeah, so so yeah, so this, I, I guess the only thing I'm missing here is the um, 82 Mazda RX and the 81 Datsun. Uh, from this release, which I believe I have, I just got to dig it up. I think I got it offline or something like that. So, uh, but we'll go ahead and review these two sets today, and uh, we'll go ahead and start with the one with the uh, Camaro and the Chevy Vega uh, Stinger wagon. Okay, so again, uh, very nice. Um, I do like these a lot. Um, you know, like I said, can't go wrong with American Muscle. Uh, yeah, so let's look at the um, with the Stinger wagon first. There we go. Yeah, right like that. That's good. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Johnny Lightning. I, I like their stuff. They, uh, I think that hood might open. Nah, the hood doesn't open. Thought it did. Yeah, overall, nice, um, nice looking wagon. Uh, this is pretty neat. Definitely love the classic um, wheels on it. Um, this looks very nice and this is obviously metal base metal body so uh, it, it's it's heavy it feels nice and uh, yeah I mean what else can you say about a wagon I mean wagons are nice um, they did have their time in, in in I guess in 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 pop culture so to speak in the United States of America not too popular now I guess but you know back in the day who didn't have a wagon right with, with paneling on the side the whole nine yards so yeah definitely a nice nice rendition of the vega wagon from johnny lightning okay next we'll look at the camaro oh this does look there we, go. there we go i see the engine right there okay and uh I'm, I'm not sure if you can tell the color there but it's like a gold kind of sparkly that very very nice camaro ss looks good and see this is one thing that sometimes i don't like about um green light a uh, green light or johnny lightning or m2 machines it seems like they're you know quote unquote real rider wheels or you know if you can see that there but that looks kind of like all oh, deformed uh, and see and then the packaging it came like this so you really couldn't see the back side so that's unfortunate really um let's see if i can fix that or i might just do a wheel swap but other than that i mean has these like steely um, wheels, uh, tires on it. So yeah, looks very nice. And again, you can see uh, the Yanko uh, emblem on there from the, um, I guess, you know, Yanko the dealership, I guess back in the day from what the uh, fun facts say there, they used to sell these customized Camaros. So you can kind of see the Yanko right there and then right there too. So very nice, very nice. 67 Chevy Camaro SS. Looking good with that paint color. I like that a lot. Okay, now let's go to the next one here. The 71 Dodge Charger Super V and the Chevy 71 Chevy Monte Carlo. Okay, so this is um, from the same release, I guess, in the uh, um, class of 71. But that is, wow, it's nice. I, I like both of these. So let's get to unpacking these and see what we have. Get them out. It always seems like once you get them out of the packaging, um, they always, you know, look better. Okay. And uh, we'll start with the Charger Super V. Yeah, look at that. That is nice. Yeah, that's fire, guys. It's beautiful. Super V here in the hood. Yeah, look at that. I like the wheels that come with. Just makes it look so iconic. So, um, you know. American muscle, and then the hood opens. And right there, you can see the engine, engine black and red with the carburetor. 
And this is another thing that, I, and it's kind of like a, one of my, I guess a gripe I have. Like if you're gonna have an opening hood, you know, make sure it's make sure it stays open. I mean, in in all in, in all uh, companies, Mattel, if it's Hot Wheels or Matchbox, I mean, if it, Mem Two, I mean, it just seems like it's hard for these people to get it right. You know, with the with the hood, and I get it. You know, it's it's, it's such a small opening moving part but i mean at least at least when this one closes you know it kind of stays down you can see it kind of wants to come back up but uh you know you really can't keep it open so if you want to take a picture or, you know put it in display like that it's gonna fall open but other than that uh uh looks nice i mean looks very very true to the uh the vehicle itself um uh, again sometimes i i don't think that like Hot Wheels does a good job of kind of rendering, you know, the cars to scale. But this one looks very, very good. And I think Johnny Lightning and Greenlight also do great work uh, of trying to keep their their cars, you know, um, in scale and, 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 you know, just kind of making them look like they actually, you know, they're just many sizes of, you know, the actual car. So that one is great staying in the addition of my collection of all the cars I have. Okay, and then we have the Monte Carlo SS. I mean, who doesn't like a Monte Carlo, right? And let's see here. Okay, no opening hood on that one. Okay. Oops, a little quality control issue there, but overall, pretty nice. Wish you could, you know, have a little bit more detail there on the door instead of just looking like it's a, you know, it just looks like it's a whole, you know, uh, the, the whole molding is all one piece. Doesn't look like there's a break here, so that that kind of sucks. But overall, looking good, looking good. Um, and yeah, Chevy Monte, Car uh, Monte Carlo for you. I mean, that says what else? What else do you want? You know, I mean, it's um, just one of those cars. I mean, even through the '80s, you know, I like the uh, the, the '80s Monte Carlo. You know, like the '84. Uh, 80, 83s, you know, uh, those uh, those years, um, all through the 80s. I mean, they were they were so nice, and then in the 90s, it just kind of fell apart from the Monte Carlo. But this one here, uh, the 71, iconic as they come. I mean, just like the Chevelle, the Camaro of its time. I mean, just American Muscle in its glory. So uh, the car, the the color of this car, uh, I'm, I'm not too too fond of it, but. Has a nice, um, you know, kind of like the light brown, I guess you want to call it desert brown in the bottom with the darker chocolate uh, in the top. So yeah, uh, it's 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 nice. Overall, it's nice, uh, well made, the steely wheels uh, looking good. So yeah, uh, again, can't ask much more. I mean, these are, you know, $5 vehicles when you kind of break out the price. So I mean, you can't expect much else. But yeah, overall, nice. And I'm, I mean, another addition to the... Uh, collection but yeah so that's that guys um that's all i have for today uh again if whatever i find in the store and i can uh, pick it up i will but uh yeah that's it for now and uh, again if you like what you see let me know post it up in the comments uh share like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye